What's up everyone and welcome back to Movie Rays. Secrets you didn't know about Milo Mannheim. Milo Mannheim, the charming star of Disney's zombie franchise, has enchanted audiences with his charm, acting abilities, and hidden talents. Milo's journey has been nothing short of impressive, from his humble beginnings in the musical theater to his rise to fame on the Disney Channel. In this video, we delve into 10 secrets about Milo Mannheim that you may not have known, shedding light on his discovery of zombies, passion for theater, musical prowess, and much more. Prepare to learn the fascinating facts that make Milo Mannheim a true jack-of-all-trades. Number 10. He was discovered for the zombie movie while making live theater. Milo may have taken a break from acting for TV and film after Ghost Whisperer, but he did not stop completely. He performed in musical theater, which is how he got the lead role in Zombies. A casting agent who saw Milo perform in Rent asked if he would consider auditioning for a Disney Channel movie, which turned out to be Zombies. I was skeptical at first, but I went ahead with it, and it turned out pretty well if I do say so myself. <laughs> Indeed, it did. Number 9. He's an avid theater fan. Milo enjoys going to Broadway shows, often with his mother, who starred on Broadway in the Spring Awakening revival from 2015 to 2016, as well as in off-Broadway productions. Milo's favorite show of all time is Spring Awakening, and he has appeared in two productions of it. I adore Spring Awakening, and seeing my mother in it was incredible. If she can do Broadway, I think I can, he laughed. That's what she told me. Rent, Dear Evan Hansen, the 25th annual Putnam County Spelling Bee, and A Chorus Line are among Milo's other favorite shows. I love theater because of the people, he explained. It's not so much about the show as it is about who you do it with. Number 8. He can play five instruments. Milo is a guitarist, pianist, drummer, and ukulele player who dabbles in horns. He grew up playing the piano, but as he got older, he discovered the guitar. There are pianos everywhere, but you can take your guitar anywhere, which I love. Sitting down and playing a little tune is so therapeutic for me, he said. Milo writes music in addition to playing it, though he admits he is not very good at it, but he is trying to get into it. Green Day's Good Riddance Time of Your Life was the first song he learned to play on the guitar. That is the one I am still playing all the time. It's special to me. Milo's mother shared the throwback video of him performing the famous Green Day song when he was younger. That is so adorable! Number 7. He met Ariel Martin, aka Baby Ariel, a year before Zombie 2 was even a possibility. In the DCOM sequel, Milo and Ariel's characters clash because Zed is opposed to werewolves joining Seabrook society. When Milo and Ariel first met in person, they clicked right away. Milo shared a photo of them on a plane and fans congratulated them on their new friendship. I believe they were looking for her for the film because we were commenting on each other's Instagram posts and she seemed like such a nice person. He admitted that he was nervous about working with her on the film because she has a very large social media following and is a major influencer. Fortunately, she was the sweetest person, literally just bubbly always, and they got along well. In fact, Milo stated that Zombies 1 star were nervous for new cast members who were joining because they understood how stressful it can be to be thrust in the middle of such a large project, but they got along so well from the start. It would have been weird without them. Number 6. He competed on Dancing with the Stars, which helped him prepare for Zombies 2. Milo and Whitney Carson finished second on the 27th season of DWTS in 2018 with a perfect score, 60 out of 60, on their final dance together. Milo worked on the first Zombies film before doing WTS, so he approached the franchise's choreography differently for Zombies 2. While making Zombies 1 was more about having fun and being okay with making mistakes, DWTS changed Milo's perspective. The competition show is much more intense and you really put your body through its paces. I thought I was in pretty good shape to begin with, but I was so wrong, Milo admitted. Whitney killed me every single day, but obviously it was worth it. I definitely think that the work ethic I sort of discovered and created on Dancing with the Stars helped me so much in Zombies 2. Number 5. He's a student at New York University. Milo attended New York University after graduating from high school in May 2019, where he rocked his zombie green hair like the legend he is. He studies drama at the Tisch School of the Arts and hopes to graduate in 2023. Cole and Dylan Sprouse, both Disney Channel alums, attended NYU and graduated in 2015, though they attended the Gallatin School of Individualized Study rather than Tisch. Number 4. His first television appearance was on his mother's show Ghost Whisperer. 
Milo's mother is actress Cameron Mannheim, who has appeared in numerous TV shows and films, including Ghost Whisperer. Cameron would take Milo to set with her as a single mother, so he grew up behind the camera, watching it all go down and seeing how it all works. He told his mother one day in 2009 that it would be cool to be in front of the camera for an episode. She said they could probably make it happen and Milo was soon gracing our television screens with his adorable face and long locks. They gave me the script two hours before or something. I was probably eight years old or something, reading it, going through it, trying to memorize it, Milo explained. I had never done anything like that before. I went in and they offered me the role and I did it. His next IMDb credit came nine years later with Zombies. Cameron portrayed Margot on two episodes of Hannah Montana in 2007. Margot was Michaela, Selena Gomez's manager, and she and Robbie Ray, Billy Ray Cyrus, would have hilarious insulting matches. Number three, he has a YouTube channel with his best friend, Mason Turner. Milo and Mason have been best friends for years as indicated by this throwback video. Milo and Mason started their YouTube channel in 2018, but they have not uploaded a new video since February 2019. They had to take a break because Milo went to Toronto to film zombies, but they plan to make more videos. Mason will be joining Milo at NYU soon, so they hope to make more videos in the near future. Number two, Milo Mannheim's debut. He was then cast as the lead in the Disney Channel TV show Zombies, which premiered on February 16, 2018. On September 11, 2018, it was reported that Mannheim would be one of the big names competing on season 27 of Dancing with the Stars. He was paired with accomplished artist Whitney Carson. Mannheim and Carson finished the challenge as the runners-up on November 19, 2018, losing to the radio character Bobby Bones. On February 11, 2019, it was announced that a sequel to Zombies was in the works with Mannheim reprising his role as Zed. The declaration was confirmed by an Instagram video of the on-screen character. Number 1. Milo Mannheim's mother is a famed personality Cameron Mannheim, Milo's mother, is an on-screen character. She is well known for her roles in The Practice and Ghost Whisperer. She received a Golden Globe and an Emmy for her role as Eleanor Frett on The Practice. Cameron is an unquestionably strong mother. On DWTS, she is almost always in the audience. She guides Milo to act naturally. Milo Mannheim's multifaceted talents and genuine love of the arts catapulted him to stardom at a young age. Milo's journey demonstrates his talent, determination, and love for the craft, from his discovery while performing in musical theater to his success on the Disney Channel and Dancing with the Stars. As he continues to study drama at New York University, it is clear that this rising star is only getting started. Milo Mannheim, with his infectious personality and impressive skills, is undoubtedly an artist to watch in the coming years. Well, that's it. For now, make sure that you like our video. Please share your views and opinions in the comment section with us. Subscribe to the channel to get updated regularly with the latest news and reviews on upcoming movies from us, and don't forget to hit the bell icon to never miss an update. Thanks for watching the video. We'll see you at the next one.